say you don't wanna get in trouble That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let Hello friends and welcome to today's video. This is going to be kind of a little bit of a different video. We're going to do a get ready with me. So I'm a basic, I already fixed my hair. It's done because I couldn't do too much of a scare factor in this video because this Halloween's over. So <laughs> we're going to do makeup today and y'all seen I made my coffee. This is my second cup. Don't judge me. <laughs> Where am I going today? Why am I putting makeup on? Absolutely nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. There's usually about one day out of the week that I will choose to not wear makeup. And it just depends on what I'm doing that day. But otherwise, I really like to wear makeup. It just makes me feel more complete. I feel like my, <laughs> my eyebrows are almost non-existent. And I just feel like, well, you know what? I like putting my makeup on. I look like somebody. So anyway, love this coffee creamer that I have uh, just learned about. It's the Grinch Frosted Sugar Cookie. Highly recommend. So I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna put on some makeup now and we're gonna do a little chitty chat. <laughs> okay, so here is my little organizer for my makeup. It is wildly not organized. Isn't that, a, isn't that just irony right there? Got my fan remote for my bedroom in here because I have to hide it from my kids or it'll get lost. Um, most of this I don't use. Some of it I use like every once in a while and then sometimes I don't. It's a hot mess. Yes, it is a hot mess, but whatever. And then this is just like eyeliners and brushes and stuff. All right, so first things first, this camera is pretty much on a wing and a prayer right now. Um, <laughs> I got y'all sitting on a box and then you're on a tripod, tripod, a tripod that I got from uh, Amazon that's kind of questionable. So, let's see how it goes. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and start slapping some makeup on. We'll just talk while I'm doing that. I use this, hello, hello, hi, Milani eyeshadow primer. And that is what I put on first. I usually do my eyeshadow before I do anything else because y'all know eyeshadow has a tendency to fall out, is what they call it. Just looking like something crazy. So I put this all over my lid. I put it on my eyebrows, underneath my eyes, everywhere that I'm gonna be putting something around my eye, essentially. I wanna know when you guys do your Christmas decorating because I turned on the radio yesterday and they were playing Christmas music and it's got me wanting to decorate even though I said I'm gonna wait. Usually I decorate like the day after Thanksgiving even though like, okay, my brother lives in New Jersey, right? And all of our holiday stuff is usually like, I guess based around when he can come. He has, he's a mechanic. He's like an airline mechanic. He works on airplanes and, um, he works up in Philadelphia and he just transferred to a new job with American and um, things are just kind of, it's harder for him to get time off now. Um, so we weren't quite sure if he was going to be able to make it down here for Thanksgiving, which is when he usually comes and we do all of our Christmas and stuff with him then. But I just found out that he's going to be able to come. Um, real quick, this is the Wet n Wild contouring palette in... Uh, what is it? Dolce de Leche. And they changed the color here lately, but I, y'all don't judge me. I am surely, surely, surely not a makeup artist. So <laughs> um, I use this, what's left here as a base, as a base eyeshadow after I put my eyeshadow um, primer on. So, and I use this brush here. It's kind of fluffy. 
Um, anyways, we just found out that he's going to be able to come after all for Thanksgiving. And we're just so excited. But when his kids were smaller and they came for Christmas, we felt like, you know, we kind of needed to have our Christmas stuff up and have it decorated for Christmas because we'll be opening gifts with them like they're here for Christmas, right? But they're older now, and I don't know, like, I just feel like it's pushing it. Decorating so early. So, I'm kind of hung. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go ahead and decorate early or if I just want to wait. Like, Christmas just gives me so much anxiety. Next, I go ahead and, like... I guess you could say I contour with my eyes a little bit. So this is my favorite. I um, have been using this color for a long, long time. This is, hello, oh my, I'm sorry. This is a, a MAC eyeshadow in the color Wedge. I've got it on facial recognition, so it'll only focus on my face, and now I'm getting what I asked for. It's only focusing on my face. I use this to go in and just, um, contour in here. This is a good base color. You can build on this color if you want to go in like a darker in your crease. Um, but I always start with this color for that. But anyways, so we haven't done any shopping or anything yet. I hadn't bought the first thing for Christmas, not the first gift for anyone. Um, so I'm kind of about a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. I've got time because usually we'll just get for them and, you know, for the rest of everybody, we'll kind of fill in after that and start buying for everybody else. So, I'm really excited that my brother and his um, kiddos or my niece and nephew are going to be able to come. They're going to have to drive. You know, like I said, he works for the airline. So, um, under normal circumstances, you know, he should be able to fly. But that's just like a hard time to try to fly on standby, which is what the employees with benefits or whatever do. I don't even know what his benefits are now with this new company. I haven't heard. I'm excited to see him. So we're going to be cooking Thanksgiving and just having the whole deal. Okay, I don't know what color this is. I have no idea. It's a shimmery pink color. <laughs> this is going great. But I just apply this to my lid here. And this is just like an everyday look here. I normally, if I want to do something a little bit special, I will go in with a darker color just right here in the corner of my eye here and then blend it towards the middle on both sides. And that's kind of a fancy look. But today we're just doing a every uh, day, everyday look. <laughs> and then, okay, so this is the eyeliner that I've been using that I really like. It's Essence Stay and Play gel eyeliner and it's in the color but first espresso um i like this because number one i've got mature eyes i'm 40 sucks to say that and this goes on really really easy so um i really really have enjoyed this one i used to use covergirl it's the covergirl one that's the pencil on one side and it's like a smudgy thing on the other side. I used to use that, which I will if I ever am not able to get this. That would be my second choice. But I really like this. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, needing to be sharpened. And my sharpener fell in my trash can the other day when I was getting ready. And then I forgot to get it out. And, uh, you know, there wasn't really anything in there that was yucky or anything yet. But then I cleaned the toilet with one of those uh, Clorox toilet one things and then I put that in there and uh yeah so that's just gonna go on down to see Jesus because I ain't I ain't digging through there for that now forget it so I'm gonna see if I can find a sharpener I'll be right back <laughs> y'all I just used my kids school pencil sharpener and I think it did <laughs> it did the job um I just basically go underneath my eye I mean just right at the edge I'm gonna have to look at this mirror y'all I'm sorry I ain't that good. And then we just flip it out just a little bit. Just Why do people's face always do that? I look so dumb. <laughs> anyway, that looks spectacular.
do y'all see how easy this goes on? It's just so, like, you don't even have to hardly touch your eye with it. Give a little swoopy sweeps at the end. And then just feel her in. All right. And that's it for the eyeliner. I'm happy with that. Next, I go ahead and put a little bit of, um, well, what I call foundation. Um, but this is all I use on my skin just because I don't have a whole lot of problem areas on my skin. I guess if I did, I would find something thicker. But right now, the only thing that's um, annoying is my wrinkles here. I got a couple right here. And, you know, of course, I got my butt crack in my forehead. But <laughs> that's my you better stop what you're doing because you're about to get in trouble line. Um, I use this Wet n Wild tinted hydrator I've used this for a long time and this is in a color light medium I'm not really all that light skinned and I don't feel like but um the only place that I put this is right around my nose my chin and right here on my forehead and then I just blend it out and I find that that's plenty of foundation for me I have a lot of redness around the sides of my nose so um that's just really my only problem area with my skin. So, and then of course, I got a little redness right there on my chin, not much. And then like I said, I just kind of work it out. It's not um, a heavy coat of foundation at all. It's basically just a moisturizer. You know, as you get older and uh, stuff, moisture, the more moisture, the better because it helps keep them wrinkles from wrinkling. So, yeah, it's a false. Let's talk a little bit about the cheerings, shall we? I got a little bit of eyeliner underneath and I don't like that. Hayden has been obsessed with his dad's um, Mustang. Jeff has a 93 Fox Body Mustang and it's in the, it's a Calypso. So apparently it's like kind of rare. Um, it's in really good shape and they had put a supercharger on it, um, back in the summer and then they decided that they wanted to put a turbo charger, a turbo, they want to put a turbo kit on it. So it's down right now and it's parked in my carport over here and, uh, we can't drive it, um, because Jeff's putting a turbo on it. I usually take a white eyeliner and line the waterline of my bottom lid because it I feel like it makes my eyelid open up a little bit more so I'll do that real quick anyway Hayden is obsessed with drag racing racing all that stuff like we have a drag strip near us and um they'll go over there and hang out with the guys and talk about all the things um drag racing and stuff obsessed at 11 years old obsessed all right laverne i know that you're probably watching because you're usually watching all my videos but i'm still using my eyeshadow palette look how loved it is it's got so many fingerprints on it <laughs> oh, anyway it's it's well loved it's been well loved um <laughs> for my under eye here i go in with this oh it's like a burgundy color I would say right there and I just put just a little bit on the outsides with this brush here you can see uh, it just kind of helps give some shape to my eye tap tap anyway Hayden's doing really good in school he's made a lot of friends I don't know if I yeah I think I mentioned to you guys um he was supposed to go to a different middle school this year and we decided to take him to one that's probably like 20 minutes away. We just felt like it would be a better fit for him. And he's doing really well. Like his teachers are awesome. He's getting pretty decent grades, A's and B's. I'm not complaining. Um, he's working really hard for those grades and I know that he's been working hard. I'm so proud of him. And just overall, he's doing well. He likes to play his video games and he likes talking about everything drag racing. And then we got Harrison, <laughs> y'all. He is my middle child for sure. He hasn't lost any teeth yet. And there's been a couple of kids in his kindergarten class that's lost teeth so far. And he's just like, every day he checks his teeth. It's like, 
to see if there's anything loose. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Um, okay, so I also go, let's see, hold on. We missed something. Before we, put that, before we do our eyebrows, before we put our eyebrows on, because we ain't got none, I go in and brush them a little bit. Um, the natural hair growth of my eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyebrows is, I try to, these right here are gonna do what I want them to do, but these right here just don't, so I just go with the flow. But anyway, uh, so Harrison has been chosen as a shepherd in the church play. And um, he's been going, he was so excited about it. And then last night, we go to church um, and play practice is on Sunday nights. And um, he refused, absolutely refused. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I'm also gonna use some eyeshadow for that. I'm gonna use this color right, right here. It's like a, it's not a dark, dark brown, but it's not a light brown, it's kind of a medium brown. Just don't want to look like, you know, I got two big old caterpillars hanging up on my head there. But I'm just going to use this little eyeliner top. <laughs> I look so weird. Sorry, y'all. Uh, anyway, he absolutely refused to go to play practice last night. I mean, kicking and screaming and acting like, oh, my God. I just was so embarrassed because when we got out in the parking lot, there were, pe you know, people. And I'm like, oh, my Jeff, what do we do? Like, I mean, he's literally refusing to go. And I don't know, like, why. He wouldn't tell us why. But, so we let him go into service with us. And, um, let him sit with us or whatever. And about halfway through, he fell asleep. And I'm like, something ain't right. And, you know, I've chalked it up to the time change or whatever. Y'all, I cannot see if I'm doing this right. But y'all see, kind of, this is what I do. I just make an eyebrow out of my, my nothing eyebrows. And uh, he goes to sleep. I'm like, what is going on with him? This is not like him. It was like time change maybe. But uh, we got back home. Some nights we have to give hair some melatonin because he's just so wired, y'all. He's so wired. He's got all of the energy that he should not, he should not have that much energy, but he does. And so Jeff looks up on top of the hutch where he hid two melatonin gummies and y'all probably know where this is going um somehow or another houdini found the melatonin gummies before we went to church last night and took them so that's why i fell asleep at church uh, i'm telling y'all right now if there's something hid in this house you can guarantee that i will not be able to find it but harrison will Harrison will always find it. That goes for scissors. Oh, scissors are a big deal here. Um, I'll be like, dang, I don't know where the scissors are. Harrison's like, oh, I know where they're at. Hold on, I'll go get them. What the? Oh, my God. Uh, matches? So I don't know where we got matches from, but we have matches here. I haven't ever bought matches, but um, somehow or another we got them. Anyway, that ain't straight, but it's okay. Yeah. Catching stuff on fire, y'all. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. He is literally the epitome of the middle child. If there is a definition in a book anywhere of middle child, you will see Harrison. He, full of energy, full of just craziness. I mean, just constant. He's like a honey badger too, especially with his big brother. Like he does not care that his brother is 200 something odd pounds and he's like 50. He will go after him like something in a WWE ring in two heartbeats. He does not even care. And, I mean, I'm like, dude, do you not realize, like, he could really hurt you if he wanted to. He don't care. He does not care. Honey Badger don't care. Anyway, um, so he's real fun. He's real fun. He has, he has no appetite other than just he will find himself something to eat. Um, he is so picky when it comes to food. It's just ridiculous how picky he is. Before I do my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blush. I used the e.l.f. putty blush, and this is in the color, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, nope, it's on the side, Bally. It's called Bally, B-A-L-I. -B it's a real pretty color. It It's it's one I use all year long, so I like it, and I just use my fingers. 
and I only put my blush like right there. Yes, beautiful. I don't leave it like that. I just blend it with my finger. Real good in there. They have several different colors of these and I just like the, I like being able to blend it so it blends really nice usually. <laughs> on here anyways stevie kate y'all that poor baby she is being brought up in a house of boys all right the next thing this is la la colors in shine bright <laughs> y'all all my makeup's kind of i mean i love what i love and this is like the second one i bought of this i got it from the dollar tree beautiful and cheap yes so we're gonna highlight just right up on top of that um, blush there. Uh -huh. Yes, we are. And the tip of my nose, a little bit in the top and a little bit on the bottom. So, yes. And then let's do a little bit of bronzer. Okay, now let me show y'all this, okay? Y'all know when I used what I used on my I lid a while ago, this thing right here. And I told y'all this was um, Dolce de Leche, right? You see it, right? Okay, so when I bought it again, because I needed a new one, this is what I got. And I don't know if you can tell, but them two colors are not the same. This one and this one. That is not the same. I don't care what nobody says. And it may not be coming across on here. But if this has got like more of a yellow tint to it, to me. But anyway. But I just use this palette for my, uh, what is this called? Contouring? It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the Dolce de Leche like we already talked about. But anyway, I use this little brush here. It's got like some feathered out little brush bristles on top. And we're going to go under... You know, kind of follow, follow your natural little indentions. And then we're going to give a little kiss to the top like the sun's been hitting. And then I'm going to take this brush and pinch it with my fingers like that right there. And then go down the side of my nose to make my nose not look so fat. Yes. And then up underneath here. Can you have no five o'clock shadows? I'm just kidding. That's where I'm at, right? Okay. Yeah. So beautiful. Oh, we were talking about Stevie, right? Let's talk about Stevie. So Stevie's two and a half. The attitude for days. Do you hear me? And sassy and wants to do what she wants to do, and she don't care what you want her to do. Um, so we're tr we're working on that as parents. That's that's just a challenge for us, and um, it's it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> not really but um yesterday little missy was coming up the um we come up the back steps because we was out some out in the backyard playing and we come up here on the back porch which we haven't been hanging out on the back porch very much a couple of weeks ago we had a bonfire here I had some friends over and i've got a like an indoor outdoor type rug out there it's kind of like a woven type rug and uh hayden my 11 year old that acts like he's five um, was out there and he pulled that rug up and got up underneath it like it was a blanket and I'm like son get up you are too old for all that and you know he's the size of I don't know like a 18 year old he's huge he's taller than me and um so when that next morning I told him to go out there I said go fix that rug I said you, you're gonna cause somebody to fall um because it's just all wrinkled up and stuff here comes Stevie Kate, bless her heart, up the stairs yesterday afternoon. Did Hayden do what I told him to do? Well, Lord, no, he didn't. Lord, no. Uh, <laughs> that poor girl tripped over this rug, fell, and cut her eye right here. And her whole eye is swollen today. Yes, so that's great. Pretty much done. The only thing that I do next is my mascara. So I have an eyelash curler. I'm going to do that. And then I... This is it right here. This is it. Maybelline Sky High. And this is in, I think, very black. 
good lord why did they put stuff so small i used to make fun make fun of elderly people and they'd be like i just can't see all them little letters what does that say and now here i am i can't read it very black now who who did they expect is gonna be able to read that really i mean what just don't even put it on there don't even put it on there but anyway we're gonna do our mascara now Lord, this is this is a accident waiting to happen. Uh, anyway, Stevie's doing okay. She like cried for just a minute when she fell, and um, I was like, "Girl, you're fine. Get up." Cause I was behind her when she fell. So I really didn't see like what she hit. I didn't know that she hit anything, to be quite honest with you. And I'm just like, "Oh, she's being dramatic." But then, after a minute or so, when she turned back around. <laughs> looked at me in the face. I saw that little color in her eye and I felt so bad. I was just like brushing it off like, well, you know, I am Harrison's mom and Harrison is like Harrison Grace. <laughs> that child is constantly falling and getting hurt. Like I can't do nothing with him. He needs to be put in like bubble wrap. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, I need to take into consideration that Stevie is more fragile because she is a girl, but I don't. And I just forget so you know whatever um anyway she's doing okay she's at school right now everything's cool she's just getting over a ear infection um we're all getting over some mess i still wake up in the morning with um a bunch of congestion and a cough for a little while until it all kind of settles back down you know you know it all it all just gathers in your face while you're sleeping at night so anyway i got my hair done last week uh, we just been covering grays here lately. I haven't been doing anything with the ends um, because my hair has been so damaged lately. I've got this is not this is not intentional. I'm not I'm not going for fringe or what do they call them curtain bangs. I'm not going for curtain bangs. That's purely accidental. That is breakage from those money pieces that I had back in the summer. It's great. My hairdresser, she um, she told me she said take some prenatals, which I've been doing that. I've been taking prenatals. I've been taking biotin. I've been taking collagen. And I'm not really seeing much different with my hair at all. Like, oh, I guess it's just going to have to heal because the ends are just so damaged from that color that I put in there. My hair just does not do good with blonde in it at all. Like, it never has. And I know that. But I just try again. I'm like, oh, let's see if it's different this time. It ain't. It ain't, Jen. Don't do it. So anyway, she was like, I had a client here last week. Um, it was a um, interracial couple. Um, so the mother um, is white and the kids, you know, are interracial. And then the dad is black. She said that something that she learned from his family was to wear a bonnet to bed and that helps with breakage um what <laughs> what and she said go to Dollar Tree and get you a bonnet and wear it to bed at night don't put your hair in a ponytail just wear the bonnet to bed and yeah so don't think I didn't go to the Dollar Tree and get me a bonnet I sure did and I've been sleeping in it. Does that look good? I can't see what I'm doing. And I, so far, I wake up and, like, my hair is not a frizzy mess. Like, typically, it looks like just a sh 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 just matted up. Like, not matted up. What is it like? Frizzy looking. It's not shiny anymore when I wake up. Um, But now that I've been wearing a bonnet to bed, it's been shiny when I get up. Like, I'll take the bonnet off and I'm like... Well, would you look at that? Um, yeah, so I feel like it's helping. Okay, so I, I told y'all whenever I try to like dress up my eyes a little more, um, I will go in the corner with um, a darker color. I go, I use the same pencil. Girl, talk to the hand. I use the same pencil, pen, brush, it's a brush that I used for under my eye right here in that same color. And I'm just gonna do it really quick because it's easy. It's just in it, I think it dresses up my eye a little bit. Now I put it right here in the corner, up to the crease. And then just 
blend it over. <laughs> you don't want to see my mouth like a hippopotamus over here about to take in a pumpkin or something. So that's that one. I right, look in this mirror because I just can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, so that's it. That's why I do to kind of dress it up a little bit. And it gives like some depth to my eye, I feel like. Okay, I don't wear lipstick every day, but I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all what I do wear when I do do, when I do do <laughs> my lipstick. This is Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the color Magnetic Mauve. We love it. I think it goes with everything. Um, you can literally put probably any, about any color with it and it just looks good. Let me line these, these lips. I don't really, oh my God, y'all don't judge me. I'm not perfect here. I'm just gonna use this mirror and color. So I don't have much of lips, much, I don't have much lips. Okay, Jennifer, what are you saying? I don't have much lips. I really have talked about going and getting some filler or something and nee, nee. I just don't want the upkeep of it and I don't want to look like somebody busted me on my top lip. So I don't know that I'll ever do it. Okay, this is um, CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the color, I don't know, Current Nude. And it's a matte so if you like matte that's cool if you don't you can still use this and put a little bit of either aquaphor on top for some shine i love aquaphor on my lips or a lip gloss of some sort that's it i feel like i look not as scary <laughs> anymore anyway thank y'all so much for watching thanks for being here with me and um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope it hadn't been too long, but I just wanted to sit down and chat with y'all and I hadn't put my makeup on yet. So I was like, perfect opportunity. I don't know if you guys are interested in anything that I shared here, but if I can find some links for it, I'll leave it down in the description box below. Um, if you're new here, um, I guess I should, I never even introduced myself. <laughs> video is so backwards. <laughs> my name is Jennifer. Um, this is Southern Mama Drama. I'm a mother to three children. I have an 11 year old boy, a five year old boy, and a two year old girl. I'm married to my husband, Jeff. We've been married for 22 years. I think it's been 22 years. We got married in 2001. And we are, we're high school sweethearts. Met in high school and just never looked back. Love him so much. We waited about 10 or 11 years before we had our first child that was planned. Um, we just wanted to have a good, um, solid marriage to start a family on. And that was what we both wanted and both intended going in. And look at us now. No, everything's cool. We just are old with little kids. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I have no energy for all this. But no, I wouldn't trade it for a daggone thing. I love my kids. I'm so thankful for them. They are just my, my joy in my life. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.